Hey guys, today we will be looking at the season 16 jailbreak rewards with Sleepy Fox Plays and Saul Goodman. We are here in Sleepy Fox Plays Beach House in Jailbreak. And yes, I'm reading this off of the script right here in front of me as I just put away and held back out. Alright, let's get into the call. We're here and we're reading the season 16 prizes. It's the summer season, so we'll see what we got. So yeah. Narwhal, if you want to begin? Yeah, um, the level 2 life preserver tires, they almost feel like literally like two or three of the other rims that already exist. Because there's already two or three rims that are just like the life preserver, but they just put some orange on the white rims. That's two out of ten, or two out of five for me. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Uh, and I believe that the life preserver tires are not the best because they are just a simple circle but i am disappointed that the rims that we're gonna go with this tire tire did not make it in so i would give it a three out of five oh um it's just for rims it looks pretty bland and like what narwhal said it's just basically a copy with orange on it and but it's, it's, it's kind of good for a level 2 prize. Um, I'll give it a 2 out of 5. Alright, moving on to the level 3 pass prize. The level 3 prize, I do like the, um, the surfboard racks. I think they're a cool concept. They're not going to work the best with all types of cars, though. Like, you know, like the, for example, um, it probably wouldn't look good on the, um, what car? Oh my gosh, I'm blinking right now. Probably wouldn't look good on the Deja or the DeLorean. And you can see they're using the blocker as the design there. I'm gonna give it a, a 3.5 out of 5. That's fair. Uh, I would agree with you. For the most part, I agree. Uh, I think they're pretty cool though. They look nice. And I think they're... They're worth pass, I think. Yeah. So I would say I give them probably the same, a 3.5 out of 5. Um, it just looks. It. I like the idea of having surfboards on it, but uh, what Narwhal said, it just looks out of place on some vehicles. And. That's what really I only have to say. So, yeah, 3.5 out of 5. For level 4 prize, the volleyball rims, I actually, even though I don't like, I don't do anything volleyball wise, I kind of really like how they look in them. So I'm going to give them a 4 out of 5. Okay. Uh, I would say the volleyball rims are pretty good. They're a flat rim, but they're kind of thick out of it, so I kind of enjoy that. I would say for a free prize, level 4, I would say these are pretty worth it. I think I'll give them a, probably, honestly, a 4.5. They're pretty good. Um, they're pretty, they're pretty okay. It's just, I'm not, I don't really like volleyball, and, and I don't, I kind of like things that are more colorful. And it's monochrome, as you can see. Um, uh, I'll give it like a, a 4 out of 5. Alright. For the level 5 prize, honestly, I think the beach hammock furniture, it looks pretty good. I understand the concept. But I don't know if any of the houses it look right with any of them. There's like, there's just not enough already tropical-ish stuff, you know? It'd work better almost if it could be placed outside for the beach house. In the beach house uh, 3 out of 5. Uh, yeah. I think for a past prize, they are pretty... It's cool, but I do agree. I think it might work in a kind of windowed section. But overall, I would agree. Probably a 3 out of 5, yeah. Um, it would probably look out of place for different kind of, like, all the houses, 
especially when it's it's two trees inside of a house it would work better if it were to be outside or somewhere that it would fit in more uh i'm gonna give it uh 3.5 for the level six free prize i'm almost surprised that this one's free because I, I do kind of like i like it a lot but um well one thing is they could have used a different card that wasn't the road search modlet I, I like, I really like the idea, and I'm curious to see how the ex like how it'll work in game. So probably a four out of five. I would agree. I I think this prize is amazing for being free. I would say that anybody who wants a solid prize for the season gets level six. It's a great prize. Uh, yeah, I would say I give this a five out of five. It's my first five out of five. But it's really an amazing skin. I do agree, it might not work the best for some things, but a five out of five. Um, I like the idea of um having water or like the um I can't really say it, but I like I just like the idea of water on your car. Uh, four point five out of five. Alright, I may be biased here for the level 7 pass prize, but it's a rubber duck, so 5 out of 5. Alright, uh, I would disagree. I okay, I'm, I'm totally joking about that. Uh, I think it's probably more of a 4 out of 5, because it looks good. I wonder if, like, what it's going to look like when you look through the whole car. So probably a 4 out of 5, yeah. Yeah, I would agree with that. I remember back in Season 11, I think it was, they added the toy track rooms. Like people said them kind of like the void rooms, which are very rare rooms and very high valued. These kind of remind me of that, but for me personally, I think these don't look the greatest. And I again wish the light movie rooms that were going with the higher, wish those would have won. But I think they're alright, so I'll give them a 3 out of 5. Well, it's, it's a duck. And it has sunglasses. So it's an easy 5 out of 5. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> uh, it, it looks pretty good for fire. And, and I don't know about the hole in the middle. Are you going to look down that? But easy 4 out of 5. Alright, moving on to the level 8 free prize. The Tiki Bar Furniture. Again, it's kind of one of those things I think would look better outside, but I also like the concept of almost, you know, like a bar. Also, it's kind of the first alcoholic thing I've seen in a good game, if I'm being honest. Uh, great, but... Uh, okay, uh, I think for a free prize, it's pretty solid. Uh, the Tiki Bar Furniture, I think it's pretty good. I like it. Um, I see what Narwhal is saying about the alcoholic intent possible but that's okay uh yeah i'd give it a four out of five i'd say um it the same as the beach hammock furniture it looks way it would look way better outside with the beach house and probably uh, combined with the beach hammock um and as they said alcohol in a kid game uh pretty weird uh i'll give it um maybe four out of five now before we move on i'd just like to notice that um the attention to detail and all the different bottles and the cup on the stand as well i was just noticing uh, yeah. it as you guys were talking they're not all just one color and then one of the cups is actually filled up so i might change yeah. it to a 3.5 out of 5 for me yeah that's fair Moving on to the level 9 prize, the Shell Speaker Wing. It has, it comes with effects and ocean sounds, so that is, that's a unique spoiler already. Um, with the ocean sounds, like the sounds that it will be playing. If it can go on the level 10 prize, that is a 5 out of 5 for me, because that looks like beautiful. But if it can't go on the level 10 prize, the, uh, the Poseidon will get there. Uh, if it can't go on that, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. 
I like how it looks though. It um, it it looks really good. I would say for a pass prize, it is definitely deserved with the special effects and the Ocean Town. I'm surprised that this isn't the grand prize itself, to be honest. Of course, I'm joking, but I would say this is an excellent prize on any car. Even if it doesn't fit on all of them, I think it's an excellent prize. So I'd say I give this a solid 5 out of 5. Um, as they said, it's... The, the fact that it makes, like, noises, um, especially made noises, like, like aquatic noises, and it, the, just the design itself looks pretty cool, and if you're trying to, uh, trying to go with, um, a kind of beach car, like, uh, the design of it, this could, could go really good on it. 4.5 out of 5. And last but not least, moving on to the level 10 grand prize, the Poseidon vehicle. It reminds me of um, a BMW, not BMW, sorry, Buick, a Buick. I noticed that they put the arachnid um, rims on the, on the um, season 16 prize for the photo. The interior, I like the attention to detail in there and that they put a little bit of wood, like almost like um, almost like a luxury car into the car. The the detail on the inside. I hope the back seat cool can actually seat someone. And then it's just really sleek in design in total. Like all in all, I'd say probably my first and only five out of five. I'm genuinely excited for this car. Hopefully I it goes fast. <laughs> yeah. I would say this car is quite good. I would agree with the interior. I'd say the sleek design of the white chairs. I think the white interior is going to look really good on this. Uh, another thing you forgot to mention is it's a convertible, which is pretty cool. With, since it has the uh, roof off, it's going to be quite nice. I did not know that. I'm not sure if you'll be able to put the roof back on like the boxer, but if it has it off, it's going to be even better in my opinion. Uh, yeah, I agree with the backseat pool. That's gonna be amazing. I think this is gonna be a really cool car. I agree with the interior. I think I especially like the shifting thing in the middle there. Uh, and yeah, it reminds me of a like the grill on the front it reminds me of a Rolls Royce. I think that's the car that I'm thinking of. But yeah, I think overall a pretty amazing level 10 prize. I'd give it again. Uh, five out of five. I I really like the design, how sleek it is, and um, how modern it is. And it's also a it's it's a convertible, which just adds a total like bonus point. And it, it also has a backseat pool. And I hope you can also sit in it while driving. And it's just overall really good car. Um, five out of five. All right, I did forget about the 2% prize. We're going to be reviewing the first one and then the re revised version in that order. So with the original top 2% prize, the spinny beach ball rims, um, for me, it's a 2.5 out of 5 because they look, they, they don't look visually appealing and they look kind of flat. Yeah, yeah I would agree with that entirely. Yep. I believe that the spinny beach ball rims are, in my opinion, quite lazy, seeing as we already have the propeller rim in the game. But I do appreciate uh, a beach ball rim. That is quite cool for the summer. Uh, I think it definitely matches the summer season, so I do see why uh, the devs have chosen this prize. And yeah, so for this, for the first version, I think I'd give it probably only a 0.5 out of 5. I really didn't like this one. Ooh. Mm, I don't generous. really like it. It's, it's, I don't really like it. It's just it's just basically just like a a tire with recolors, like just like it, it is kind of colorful, right? But it's just I don't know. It's just just something about it makes me not like it. Um, I'm gonna give it one point five out of five. 
All right, and if you scroll down in the replies of the beach rim, you can see the revised version of the beach rim, which I actually really, really like the revised version of the beach ball. I love how it looks like they basically just shoved a beach ball into your tire. Uh, 4.5 out of 5. And I, I, I like I how would... it's shiny as well, like an actual beach ball. You know, yeah, it can I would agree with this uh, entirely because I think it's awesome how they made it 3D and not just totally flat. Uh, and now it doesn't look like an exact copy of the propeller rim either because it's, I think it's a tad bit more colorful. Or it looks a bit more colorful. It might be the shine that it gives off and possibly the 3D effect as well. But really amazing, uh, the re revision. Great revision and earns itself a four, four out of five. Yeah. I like how they had the idea of just shoving a beach ball straight into the tire. And I like how it has, it's not flat, but it's 3D. And I um, really like how it has a shine to it. So I'm gonna give it a uh, four out of five, yeah. Yeah, and then finally we'll take a look at the uh, Radiant Red. Yeah, that is a very radiant red. And as the as the um, first comment says, in the roadster with a bunch of ugh faces. I wish they didn't use the roadster to model for everything. But I like I like the radiant red kind of as a radiant color. So, uh, three out of five. Because I don't I'm I not very fond of any of the radiant colors, honestly interesting opinion there. I would say that this, uh, it completes all the colors of the, uh, it almost completes all the colors of the rainbows that the radiants have been adding. Seeing as we started with yellow, then we got orange, then we got blue, which was radiant ice, then we got radiant green, and then we got radiant purple, and now radiant red. We've almost got the whole entire rainbow. Uh, and I would say I like this one a lot. I think that the roadster is perfect for it, seeing as I believe the roadster in real life, the one that was sent to space, I believe was red. So it was red, yep. Cool that they added that, and uh, I give that one a solid, uh, I think 5 out of 5, honestly. I like that one a lot. Um, I don't really like it, and it's, it's, it's literally just red that's glowing on top of your car. And you have to get a, you have to get a nuke for it to to just get to make your car red glowing but uh yeah i like how they're adding more radiance um but i'm gonna give it a 2.5 out of 5. all right and i think that will conclude our rating so uh yeah thank you guys for watching and i think we'll see y'all later so goodbye see you in the next video okay bye